Yo guys and girls, what is going on? It's Xavier995 here and I've got a kill confirmed match on the map. I forget which map this is. But uh, anyway, I go 29 or 5 using the Spaz 12. And uh, I like this gun. This gun is really good. Uh, it's a really good way to, to um, piss someone off. Uh, <laughs> um, all you have to do is just kind of spam out bullets as you're running around. And I mean... Just do what I just did to this dude right there, you know, he's running around a corner and you just pop out and blow his head off, but anyway, that's beside the point, uh, if you really want to piss someone off, this is an excellent way to do it, uh, so just watch and learn, <laughs> but uh, anyway, this is a part of my new series called Shotgun Rain, it's just pretty much, I'm going to bring it like once a week, maybe twice a week, uh, well, I might bring it more than that, I mean, but don't expect them all that often. Just pretty much where I just bring you a shotgun gameplay of me going ham on a bunch of dudes and you know that's why it's going to be called Shotgun Rain. Uh, go figure. And look at this. This dude, what was he doing? What, was he aiming at me? What, what, was he trying to jack off or something? I mean, I don't understand it. He just stopped and was staring at me. But whatever. Anyway, I have a couple things I wanted to talk about today. Number one... Uh, I'm going to put a link in the annotation to a video on YouTube. Uh, a lot of you guys probably know this YouTuber, T-Mart, T-Martin, whatever you want to call him. And uh, he, had, um, he had a new video come out on Machinima. I, was, I watched it earlier today. And it was about this uh, new this, this uh, hack, uh, this um, care package hack, about the uh, different um, things that you can do to try to avoid it. And I've seen it a couple times. I never go for care packages unless I'm the one calling them in. I learned that early on in, like, Black Ops. You know, I just don't like to go for other people's care packages. But anyway, pretty much what it was, it's a hack where if you get... A, people can call in a care package without getting any... Without getting a kill streak. Like, I don't even know what all the hack entails. You'd have to watch the video to find out. But what it does is... It drop you. Dro they call in a care package, and if you go to try and capture it, it'll explode. It's like a dummy. It's kind of like um. It's supposed it's supposed it's supposed to be a trap, and um. It works out. It works pretty good. Uh, I know a bunch of people that have been caught by them, and this video kind of goes over how you can avoid going to to a hacked care package. How you can figure out um what whether or not it's a fake care package. Uh, and what you can do should you should your curiosity get the get the better of you, what you can do to be able to avoid getting killed by a fake care package should it actually be a fake care package. So I'm going to put a link in the annotation of that video. Go check that video out. That is a really useful tip. And uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that video. Now another thing I wanted to talk about was uh, what is you guys' favorite sniper rifle in the game? Because Honestly, I love the MSR. I, I absolutely love the MSR. It just bleh, drives me crazy. Uh, I'll run around with that MSR. That's my like. That's one of my rushing sniper rifles. It's just it's super powerful and it's got an excellent long range damage. It's got an excellent short range damage as well. So it's just interesting how they balance that out because that that gun just seems so overpowered in Modern Warfare 3. I mean, you name one person that can run around with a single shot rifle, bolt action, excuse me, and get into close range firefights with, uh, the, I don't know who it's with. You get into close range firefights with anybody who's got an assault rifle or an SMG, excuse me, and you win? I mean, that just seems a little too overpowered if you ask me. But, uh, nevertheless, you know, I mean, I guess they had to give you an overpowered sniper rifle. I think that each, um, each class of weapon has a, an overpowered gun. Like in the SMGs or the sidearms, you've got the FMGs. In, uh, the sniper rifles, you've got the MSR. The MSR is super overpowered. In the shotguns, you've got the AA-12 or the SPAS. In the assault rifles, you know, you've got the, uh, oh, I can't even think of the names, ACR, the SCAR, the ACR and the SCAR, and, uh, just all these different guns, and all of them are just super OP, and it's really hard to find a really balanced, uh, class with these different guns, but there is a way to do it, I mean, 
it's kind of, I guess that's why they put so many of these, why each gun has specific uh, attachments. Like the Type 95, for example. The Type 95, everyone knows that that gun is so beast, it's not even funny. But uh, if you were to slap a silencer on the Type 95, the damage would be lower. You would have no recoil, but the damage would be lower. But if you were to slap a hybrid sight on the Type 95, the damage would go back up. It would even out. So that's probably why there's so many of these different... Uh, uh, why can I... I cannot talk today. I don't know what is going on with me. I just cannot pick my words. That's probably why there are so many attachments that you can put on these different guns because each attachment has a specific effect on the gun and there's probably always a counter attachment I guess is the best way to put it that would even out the effects of that attachment. So it's just really interesting how they uh, chose how they um, picked out each weapon and each attachment that goes with each weapon, you know. I mean, so, you know, let me, get, let me know in the comment section uh, what do you guys think is the best attachment gun to use for sniper rifles well period i mean honestly it doesn't really matter it, it's just wh what's your favorite gun in modern warfare 3 is pretty much what it boils down to you know a lot of people would choose the acr or the scar l simply because it's just super overpowered but everybody knows that there are a bunch of guns that you can really i mean you can take a sp if you know how to play the game you can take a spaz 12 and run around and just go ham on a bunch of people using scar l's and ACR, so I mean, it's really, it's not the gun as much as it is the person. Although I will admit, the gun definitely uh, makes it better. Makes a person's uh, kill streaks better. The, a person, I don't know exactly how you would word that, but, you know, if you're running around with an ACR and you're going up against a SMG, most of the time, the guy with the ACR will win. And it doesn't take a whole lot of skill. I shouldn't have said that it's the person behind it, but it doesn't take a whole lot of skill to be able to use a super overpowered weapon like that. But anyway, you know, just let me know what you guys think in the comment section. You know, I want to hear what you guys what you guys have to say. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe on this gameplay, and I got more shotgun rain where this came from. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.